Good morning, my dear viewers. I'm glad to welcome you to yet another video editing class. Uh, in this uh, class, we shall be looking at video editing procedures. Video editing procedures. The video editing process can be so complex and uh, time consuming, but the end product is always uh, very rewarding. Yes, and to start the procedures, there are certain things you, you, you need to do. Like the first of all, start to log and organize your, um, your footages. Because the footages are shot in scenes. You don't shoot all the process at once. So you first of all, you know, log them into your work environment. On your uh, of your uh, video editor and for you to do that very well you have to you know give them you know uh, meaningful names serially so that you know which comes first and uh, the name need to be symbolic as well if you need other items like uh, some um, uh, cut ins uh, shout outs uh, voiceovers you need to you know give them their you know names that will make you you know pick them at ease then the second one is trimming and cutting of course there are certain clips that may need uh, you know uh, that may need to be removed or some part of it need to be cut out you don't need to just uh, put all of them together so you do this trimming and uh, cutting so this is to you know reduce the time and make it concise because the, uh, the the viewers may not want some unnecessary uh, details what they need is to get the direct uh, information and entertainment they, they require from uh, it so so trimming and cutting are two different words so um, trimming involves removing unwanted footages such as bloopers mistakes and unnecessary shots while cutting is, is um you know chopping off um unwanted part as well you understand so cutting on um, but this cutting could be in the middle of the clip or at the end of the clip where streaming is done at the edges at the edges you make them align properly to the next uh, you know uh, footage okay then the next one is rearranging and sequencing yes the first scene must come before the second scene except if there are cases where you want to have a kind of uh, dreaming you understand or you you want to show the summary of the high points in that particular video in order to motivate the interest of uh, the viewers then you can try to you know do a kind of reverse engineering and before it starts from the beginning so you can make scene five being the action point or you can just cut that particular action point from any scene where it falls and make it come first you understand before it now uh, you know uh, starts from the the first uh, uh, part but this is um you know lecture via recording so you may not need to do all those, uh, you know, bringing the high point before the, 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 the actual process starts. Then um, another thing you do is adding effects and transitions. Yes, when the video transits or when you transit from scene one to scene two, there should be an uh, effect. You understand? Or when you are displaying, there should be a kind of um, some zooming some flying those uh, you know um effect that you add in powerpoint to make them more catchy you understand and then um, you know to stimulate the viewers interest the next one is color correction and grading yes you may shoot a video and then um, maybe the lightning is not properly uh -huh, and then um, maybe the the quality is not what you expected yes most of these uh, editors come with uh, these, um, you know, effects, so which can help you to recolor, to upgrade the color quality, and uh, all that. All these features are embedded in 
the you know editors though not all editors have the the colors that uh, you know you need but if um if you if you uh, if you download a good editor like uh, the fumora yes fumora has uh, you know good um you know or most of these features and others then um tips to video editing yes if you are starting video editing or if you are doing your video editing there are ways to uh, do it the first one is to start with a clear vision so before you start editing it is important to that you have the final video or the final look of the video in mind you should know what you want you, you should know how you want the video to look before you start the work then the next one is to use the right tools yes there are so many tools so many software so many effective uh, software so many um animations so many um emojis that you can import to you know add and, and in order to make your video look more attractive and um, you shouldn't be afraid of experimenting with different tools video editing and you know tools video editing processes you can just give yourself a task to see yes you see a video that uh, motivates your interest and you want to do something that look like that it is good yeah you, you try it out don't say i don't think i will i will get this no you shouldn't be you know afraid of trial then next one is feedback get feedbacks you should always add a, you know a, a, a tests your your video um with people ask them to go through it and give you their feedback this will help you to improve so it's not maybe on your first attempt or second attempt to be perfect as you are working as you're getting more work with different uh, you know specification you are learning because all the tools you need to do the works are embedded and you need to combine one or two things to get it done all those things are there so thank you so much i am happy you have listened and uh, believe you've watched and uh, learned new things that will add you uh, we are that will add to your experience in becoming a professional and then um, you know a worthwhile video editor thank you for watching see you in our next <coughs> video bye for now